Naomi Chanel Himmelstein, soon to be Jackson in about two minutes. <laughs> I couldn't have imagined a more perfect day, a more perfect bride. You look absolutely breathtaking. I grew up in a home where I had a great template for what marriage looked like, what love looked like. And I truly believe this is it. I mean, how amazing is this great day? Marriage is a joyous occasion. Uh, it is connected in our thoughts with the charm of love, the warmth of home, and with all that is pleasant as being one of the most important events of our lives. I've been looking for love so true. When I was down and down along came you. So you might be alive and you too. I just can't quit you now cause I love you. Yes I do. I can't let you go baby. I can't let you go baby. Cause I love you. I love you. I love you. Ooh, yeah. Cause I love you. Yeah. It's not what we have in life, but who we have in life that matters. And I want to start by welcoming you all here. Uh, thank you for coming to celebrate this auspicious occasion. Um, the holy matrimony of my brother Jordan Jackson and Naomi Himmelstein, furthermore now known as Naomi Jackson. <laughs> Today, on May 31st, 2021, I'm saying yes, I do. I do to you because you are my everything. I love you more than life itself. I love the family that we're building together. I love how you care for the family I already have and become a part of it. So beautiful.
It is your duty, Jordan, to be to Naomi a considerate, tender, faithful, and loving husband. To support, guide, and cherish her in prosperity and in trouble. To thoughtfully and carefully enlarge the place that she holds in your life. To constantly show her the tokens of your affection. To shelter her from danger and to love her with an unchangeable love. survived breakups and get back togethers. You have survived two life-threatening surgeries and we've gone through that together with love. We survived me massaging your scars, wiping away your tears, and sharing in the struggles. We survived family woes and the marriage boot camp that was quarantining for over a year together. I can't imagine my life for the next 100 years surviving with anyone else. So the year was 2000, you know, 12, 13, one of them. Charlottesville, Virginia, Oxford Hills Apartments. 722C was the apartment. Sam 22. And Jordan and I were catching up one evening. And uh, he mentioned that he finally had the opportunity to take Naomi out on the first date. And I said, man, where you, where you going to take her? And in Charlottesville, Virginia, it's not the most metropolitan area of the world. So if you really liked the girl, you would take her to Chipotle or something. So I'm like, man, where you gonna take her? And he said, in true Jordan Jackson fashion, that uh, he was gonna take her to King's Dominion for the day. So I said, man, like, this is, this is for real. And I can truly say from that night onwards, the way that you've moved my brother, um, the seriousness in which you've built this relationship once again, um, has just been indicative of what we all know to be, um, you know, just your, your character, man. It is your duty, Naomi, 
to be to Jordan a considerate, tender, faithful, and loving wife, to comfort, guide, and cherish him in prosperity and in trouble, to give him the unfailing pieces of evidence of your affection, and to continue making the place that he holds in your heart, broader and deeper, to support him and value him, and work with him to make your marriage the best that it can be. I vow this day and every day to continue to pour into you. Thank you for always being there in sickness and health. Before this ceremony, before all of the things that have happened with us that we have manifested together, and God has been there for us and has strengthened our bond time and time again. Thank you for being my world, my best friend, my part-time nurse, full-time protector. Thank you for the wonderful, beautiful man that you are. I love you now, forever and ever. I love you too. <laughs> the Bible says, he who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. The Bible doesn't lie, but I believe I found something incredible. I love you with everything I have to give. You are my world, and I can't wait to continue to build it with you. Naomi, since the day Jordan first laid eyes on you, you were the apple of his eye. And truthfully, for many years, as your relationship blossomed and has now bloomed into the beautiful soulmates that you are today, I'll be very truthfully, I was nervous. I was nervous that I'd be losing my best friend. Nervous that when you see me, you just now see me. And it took time to understand that I was never losing a best friend, but instead I was gaining a sister. I can talk for days about me and Jordan's relationship and what it means to me, but the way you complete him is nothing short of magical and breathtaking. So thank you for teaching me how to share, teaching me how to forgive, and for being my sister-in-law. I, Jordan. I, Jordan. Take you, Naomi. Take you, Naomi. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wed wedded wife. I, Naomi. I, Naomi. Take you, Jordan. Take you, Jordan. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have. To have. And to hold. And to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. And to cherish. And to cherish. For as long. For as long. As we both. As we both shall live, shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Damn. And yeah, you know what's up. Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body. So give me all you got right now. I know I'm yours, baby. So come give me love. You know you're mine, baby. So come give me love. I never felt nothing quite like I get a high every time we kiss Can't get enough, baby So come give me love All of your love I can't fake it When I'm with you, my legs go weak Can you hear it? You know, you guys have set an example for all of us um, We all met on the grounds of the University of Virginia almost a decade ago which, whew, yeah. Um... And from that moment forward, the way that you guys have moved individually has been inspiring. Uh, but when you guys decided to become a couple, um, from that moment forward, you showed us all what black love looked like, um, what commitment looked like, what selflessness looked like. And in a generation where there's social media and everyone is so self-absorbed, to see the ways that you guys have put yourselves aside for one another has been nothing short of inspiring. So come give me love. I never felt nothing quite like this. I get a high every time we kiss. Can't get enough, baby. So come give me love.
abiding in love, which as a husband and wife, you all have promised one another. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And faithfulness. And faithfulness. Jordan and Naomi, having witnessed your vows for marriage before God and all that are assembled here today, and by the authority invested in me in both the state of New York and New Jersey, I now introduce to you all with great pleasure for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jordan and Naomi Jackson. You may now kiss your bride. sister and now brother solidify a bond stronger than gold. To my big sister, I just want to say that I'm so proud of you and everything you do. You are beautiful inside and out, smart and fearless, everything I aspire to be. My dad used to remind me all the time that um, you are the company that you keep. And so as a result, I've always been very attentional about the people uh, I keep around me. Kevin and Joanne Jackson, Herbert and Margie Himmelstein, thank you for raising these two beautiful spirits that we see before us today. <laughs> Naya and Jordan's story has set one hell of an example for me. I mean, look at where we at right now. We're at a castle, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's given transparency. It's given communication, it's given partnership. Only a union like this can produce a gathering as beautiful as this one. May you two prosper in health and wealth. May your decisions be wise and your endeavors be prosperous. Rejoicingly, we say congratulations to the bride and groom. May love and happiness find you everlasting. <laughs> Once again, I think I just speak on all of us, um, you know, the classes of 2014, 2015, and 16 from the University of Virginia, where we say we're proud of you, we love you, and we know that this is the beginning of a beautiful, fruitful marriage. Congratulations, my brother and sister. As you step into this sacred and spiritual journey, remember that you have walked down the aisle to meet love itself, manifested into a beautiful, caring, thoughtful and kind being named Jordan. We are all given three sometimes challenging tasks that are to exist as a creation of God's love, to demonstrate love in every action to our sisters and brothers, and hopefully to fall in love. You both have done this well. Naomi and Jordan, I promise to love you both and to pray for you. And Mazel Tov, and cheers to the Jackson! <laughs> Yeah. 
cannot say thank you enough. We really, really can. Um, so I guess some housekeeping rule uh, items. Um, we're gonna be turning up at the suite after this. So pop by. All right, and shout out to my bride tribe, all of my bridesmaids, Shayna, Chastity, Alex, Ashley, Shanice, Kiki. Who else is back there? Pookie and Kia, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you to all of our family and friends for coming out. We love you guys. Good night. Hey.